Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and it's time for another Breakfast with Blaha, and today I'm having egg whites and uh, Diet Dr. Pepper. If you have anything negative to say about my food, I'm going to press the ban button. Just be aware of that. I don't have time for it. Hitting elite numbers while successfully cutting as a 45-year-old man I can assure you my nutrition is okay. So, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the big five strength standard I set years ago. Because this always comes up and people are always, they're confused about what it is. They're confused about what it is and they're always saying, is this, your standard's unrealistic. What do you mean unrealistic? I didn't give you a time frame. In other words... One guy might do it in three years, another might need 10 years or 15 years to reach it, okay? Due to frame size, genetics, willingness to eat, lifestyle. It's not unrealistic. I don't even think it's unrealistic as a lifetime goal. For someone who trains consistently and intelligently and follows the principles of my channel or any good strength coach, it doesn't even have to be mine who has good nutrition and isn't too fat, I think it's obtainable for people with completely average genetics. I don't think it's, it's unreasonable. Now, setting it in a time frame might be unreasonable. Okay? And that's the difference. And I don't, I don't have a time frame. And for those who are unaware, the Big Five Strength Standard was a standard where I said, if you do these five things, you will have this outcome. It wasn't a, you have to, you should, you're weak if you don't, you're fat if you don't. Well, you probably you might be fat. But that was never what the standard was. And so when people hear it, they say, oh, well, I, I achieved three out of the five. No, there is no three out of five. It is a single standard. The big five standard. It's not, hey, I went down the checklist. So you haven't done it. Do, do you see what we're saying? So you got four out of the five, so you're at zero. You haven't achieved the big five strength standard. Because people will also go, well, how come I didn't get the outcome when I did three years or four or whatever the five? Okay. If you do this, this will occur. So people, they don't understand basic logic. And the big five strength standard, more or less, was if you can deadlift 500 pounds, squat 400, bench 300, and that's, I'm assuming, pause bench, strict press 200, and do a weighted pull-up or chin-up of some type with 100 pounds. I'm willing to change that to if you can do, I don't know, 14, 15 reps. So 15 reps with your body weight on a pull-up or a chin-up. I think that also qualifies. If you achieve this standard, you will look like you lift and will look big and jacked to the average person while walking down the street top to bottom. Your entire body will be reasonably developed and you will look jacked. Not jacked by bodybuilder standards, not jacked by powerlifter standards, jacked where the, the average person will look at you and say, that guy's pretty stacked, that guy lifts, and he's probably in shape. Now, you always have people who chime in with, well, different people have different heights. Well, to look like you lift if you're short, you have to be even bigger. Short guys who you see who look jacked on camera, Are not that big they're big on camera you see them in person you're like mm, they're not really that big taller guys don't have to fill out as much to look big when you see them because they're big naturally a guy who's six foot four is big if they're a toothpick because he's just tall even if he's lanky and you need that much muscle to look big now to look jacked we need more muscle but that guy's got an advantage so yes, if you're shorter, you're going to have to stack even more muscle on. So it still applies because what was the point? That you would look big walking down the street. 
that assumes you're probably clothed. They'll also say, well, you're the person who just get really fat and do this. You're going to do 15 pull-ups when you're really fat? Are you serious? You're going to, you're just going to, you're going to get fat? You're going to bulk to 300 pounds and do 15 pull-ups? That's pretty hardcore. you got some serious back and arm strength. You probably are pretty jacked then at that point. Look, a 300-pound man who can do 15 pull-ups, holy crap. I don't know why the guy only benches 300 and only squats 400 at that point. But we come over to the point of, well, they could get the, the 4 out of 5. Okay, people will say that. No, you mean 0. There is no 4 out of 5. It is a standard. You have to do this to achieve this outcome. And that if you do A, then B will occur. Not, you can do part of A. No, it's the whole thing. It's the whole thing. It's not, if you don't achieve A, it is impossible to achieve B. Okay, that's not it. If you don't achieve A, you're a big pussy. That, that was not it. If you don't achieve A in four years, you didn't meet Blaha's standards. Nope, that's not it either. It is if you achieve this list, this full list, right here top to bottom, this one string standard, you will look jacked to the average person. When you're walking down the street in clothing, people are going to know that you lift and that you're, you're in shape. You're going to look fairly lean, fairly athletic, and you're going to look pretty jacked. You're going to have big shoulders, big legs, big arms. All right? All that stuff. That is what it means. And people misinterpret that, and they, and they don't understand it. And, you know, and it's not unrealistic. I honestly want to raise the standard because the lifts that I hit, the lifts that my clients hit, I'm kind of like, I don't know, man. I think anyone who hires me as a coach needs to have a higher standard. Because then you really have good guidance. You're not just following it. I, I think people should be able to hit it uncoached if they apply all the knowledge. But a lot of people don't have time to learn all of it. All right? They don't have time to, to program everything. They don't have the mindset to program for themselves or to reel themselves in. And I get that. But if you've got good coaching, I almost feel like we could raise that bench to 350, that squat to 500, that old 600, that pull up to 20. Now we really have done something. Now that's a hardcore standard. But that's not what the standard is. That's, we're getting pretty extreme. Be realistic, the majority of you are never going to achieve that. Honestly, we know that. But the big five, you, you probably can't. Unless you were just that genetically bad or your lifestyle is that terrible or you're not willing to put in the work. It's just that for a lot of you, it's, it might be 10 years of consistent work to get there. Okay, so what? But that's what the standard is. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.